Hello, it looks like it's the top of the hour and it is time to get started. Just to let you know that you're in the right place, this is the webinar, How to Retire in Five Years or Less on 13000 per month tax-free. And I want to introduce myself. If you don't know me, my name is Peter Schultz and I am the editor of the winningsecret.com. I'm also the founder of Cash Flow Heaven Publishing and uh, creating cash flow, passive cash flow from the markets or even active cash flow from trading the markets has been a passion for a very long time and I want to share with you today the best method I've ever found and the safest method I've ever found for doing that so we're gonna put this to use for us in a very very good way um, I really want you to pay attention I'm actually gonna send you a recording in this webinar but I also I mean it'd be a really good idea to take some notes really pay attention to what's going on here there's some really good information if you're like me at all you're gonna have a lot of fun turning this around and over and over in your head over the next few days so let's get started um, to, to accomplish that um, we need a plan and we need a really good plan and that plan needs to be safe because we're talking about our retirement and our savings and it really needs to work now 13,000 per month is a pretty tall order so how do we do that how do we accomplish that so what are the professional what do the professional financial advisors have to say what do they say that we need now if you've ever been in and talked to a financial advisor um, that can be a pretty darn sobering experience um, and here's why uh, if you want to get thirteen thousand dollars per month so you multiply that times 12 and we come to this little number down here I'm gonna get my pen just so I can underline and and emphasize some things so we get to this number right here this one hundred and fifty six thousand dollars a year is what thirteen thousand per month turns out to now maybe you can get along on a little less than that maybe you'd like a little bit more but we're just gonna use that as a just a good number to work with um, if you get 2% per year which is what a lot of bonds are playing now they're fortunately they're starting to go up a little bit maybe you can get two and a half percent but at 2% per year to get hundred and fifty six thousand dollars you're going to need seven million eight hundred thousand dollars now you don't have to be a statistician and know a whole lot about demographics to know that most of us don't have that much money um, and and all that almost eight million dollars is going to produce at today's returns is a hundred and fifty six thousand dollars so that's a heck of a lot of money so if you're not in that category if you are congratulations that's fantastic if you're not in that category we need to do something different now if you can get five percent on your money uh, some of the best dividend stocks out there are paying around 5% per year. Uh, it's, you know, perhaps some people consider it more risky. I don't know, but uh, let's say you're, you're, you're good at getting good dividend returns. You can get 5%. Now you only need a little more than $3 million to generate your 156000 It's still a substantial amount of money. If you have over $3 million in cash assets, you know what? You probably have your own program going on. You probably have a lot of things going on. But you know what? I think you're still going to love this. But for everybody else, all the rest of us that don't happen to have $3 million in cash laying around, I think this is going to be some of the most inspiring information you've heard in a long, long time. I think it's going to make your day, your week, and your month. And um, so let's get started. Let's get launched here. Let's see how we can do this. So obviously, we need to get substantially better than conventional returns. And I'm just saying you could do better so we need to do it safely that's the most important thing um, this is our retirement money you know we kind of have to ask ourselves in 10 years from now or you know whatever future projection are you going to have more ability to make money or less ability if you're over the age of 50 it's probably going to be you know generally speaking your ability to earn money uh, reduces or lessens as we get older it's not a terrible thing it's just kind of how things work but you know what we need to whatever amount of money we have we need to do um, conservative things safe things we need to preserve it and build it so I want you to know that um, safety is a huge consideration in this program we also need a really good plan one that takes us step by step to where we want to be and that plan needs to have a very good chance of succeeding so I think uh, one of the hallmarks of a great plan is to for it to be specific or excuse me simple uh, so that anybody can follow it's not complex the simpler it is the easier time you're gonna have of it needs to be specific we don't want to be general 
We don't want to just say, well, we want more money. We want to be more comfortable. We want to be more secure. Of course, everybody wants that. But specifically, how are we going to get there? And this plan is very specific. It needs to be realistic. We have no use for pie in the sky. You know, if if you know you just have a lot of hopes and dreams and 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 no real way to get there, that doesn't buy the groceries. You know, that doesn't get you down into the southern climates when it's uh, cold and 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 the wind's blowing outside. We need to have a realistic plan that's actually going to get us where we need to go. And the plan needs to be complete from beginning to end. We need to do things uh, all the way through to get the result that we're looking for. This plan has all four. In the world of investments, there's always uncertainty. So our plan has to have a high mathematical probability of success, no matter what the market's doing, no matter what the economy's doing. You know, if you like to read the news, if you like to watch the news at night, there's all kinds of uncertainty out there. You know, there's there's wars, there's threats of wars, there's economic collapse, there's overspending by governments, there's, uh, you know, the currency is under assault. I mean, there's just all kinds of crazy things going on right now. We need a plan that can navigate through all of that where it doesn't matter what the economy is doing, it doesn't matter what the stock market's doing. And I want that plan personally to have a, a mathematical probability of success that's greater than 90%. Now, I want you to think about all the investing you've ever done. And would, if you had over a 90% chance of winning on every venture you went out on, would that be you know pretty much at the high end of your probabilities for all the investing you've ever done? Yeah. It probably would be, and that's what we want for this retirement plan. I mean, we want to be safe, as safe as we can with our money, but at the same time, we really need it to build. So we're basing that expectation, that mathematical expectation, on the Black-Scholes pricing model, which won the Nobel Prize in 1997. Now, the pricing model wasn't cr created in 1997. It was actually created and implemented uh, back in the early 70s. And it's what allowed um, the options market to exist as it does today. Uh, it, they had to have a pricing model that just works in all different situations. It's incredible. There are actually three men that were involved in the creation of that formula. Uh, you see them here. And uh, only two were alive in 1997 when they finally got the Nobel Prize for Mathematics and Economics. So... This is, some, this is some real math, and, and we really take advantage of this formula. Now, if you're not real up on math, especially this really high-end math, don't worry about that. The analogy I like to use is you don't need to know all the inner workings of the internal combustion engine to drive your car to the bank. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing. So just know that we are taking advantage of this formula. We're getting on the right side of it. You're going to see some examples of that here pretty soon, and, and this is just so cool. And I'll tell you who loves this strategy is anybody that's into numbers. So retired engineers, chemists, accountants, uh, math teachers, anybody that really knows numbers and understands probabilities go, oh my gosh, where has this been? This is fabulous. Um, you know, we're, we're, you know, the odds are on our side with every single trade. So we're using a strategy that takes advantage of the Black-Scholes pricing model. And this strategy is based on selling options instead of buying them. This method, this strategy is so effective, I call it the winning secret. And boy, it is. So everybody out there that's speculating on options and they're buying options and they think they're going to double or triple or quadruple their money overnight and, oh, guess what happens? They end up losing all their money. So, you know, if you've had a brother-in-law that traded options or you traded options and you heard that options are super, super risky and you should never get involved in them, I want you to stop and think about something real quick here. All those people that lose money in options, where does that money go? Where does it go? Does it go to the broker? No, they just make their money on a little commission. Does it go to the market maker? No, they just make their money on the bid ask spread. All that great, big, huge, gigantic pile of money that gets lost every single week, month, and year by all these crazy speculating options traders, where does it go? I'll tell you where it goes. It goes to the options sellers. The options sellers. And when you become an options seller, you're getting the odds in your favor like you cannot believe. Now, why doesn't everybody do it? Because... It, it's not a lottery type strategy. You're not going to win the lottery. But you know what? I'd rather be the, the people that are sponsoring the lottery, the state selling all the tickets, than the people buying the tickets. 
wouldn't you? I mean, that's that's where all the money is. So without going into a lot of detail, just I just want you to know that we are jumping onto the side of options where the money is really made. And that's where, where the savvy options traders live. And that these, these are the folks that are quietly raking in hundreds of thousands of dollars every year while the speculators are going broke. So that's all I'm gonna say about that. And I've got a lot more detail on that later, but I just want you to kind of roll that concept around in your mind for a second. So the reasons, reason it's important to sell options instead of buying them is you have a much better chance of winning. The strategy we use is called selling credit spreads. Now, the beauty of a credit spread is you never have to own a stock. You never have to invest all that money in a stock. So you can trade something that's $100, $200, $300, dollars $500 per share and never have to come up with that money. It's absolutely beautiful to really get a smaller amount of money working very, very hard and while simultaneously being at the safest end of the options spectrum. So what is a credit spread? You know, if you've never heard of, if you Google credit spreads, it's going to come up with a bunch of, you know, what the banks do between, you know, the rates they have to borrow at and the rates that they lend at. You know, so, so credit spreads, uh, there's a lot of uh, different ways to use that, those two words out there. But what we're using them for is with options. And let me show you how they work with options. This is so unbelievably cool. And let me just give you the definition real quickly here. A credit spread is simply selling an option and then buying another option to hedge. And that's to hedge your risk, so you limit your risk. So the option we are selling is more valuable than the one we are buying, so it creates a credit in our account. Now, credit is money you can use to buy stuff. You can leave it in your account. You can reinvest it, which is what I recommend. You can take it out. You can use it for your mortgage payment. You can take it to the grocery store. We sell options and bring in a credit. And you know the cool thing about it is, is, is that credit hits your account the minute you put on that trade. So let me just show you kind of what this is. And like I say, if this is new to you, if you've never heard of it before, that's fine. And I'm going to make sure you know it forwards and backwards before you ever place a trade. But let me just give you an overview real quick and, and show you what it is. Okay, so we got something here. This is the Russell 2000. This is a big old index. And you can see in this particular chart, it's going up. You know, it came down a little bit. But then, you know, it broke through this uh, kind of horizontal resistance. And now it's going higher again. And boy, you know, you like to look at charts and read charts and you go, you know what, this thing is just going up. It's going higher. You know, the, the whole market's bullish. It's going up. So we come down here and we sell. And this is just for a few weeks of time. This is just like, you know, maybe maybe two weeks, three weeks of time here. Not not much time. We sell the thousand dollar put. And when we sell that thousand dollar put, we bring in a dollar fifty per share. We turn around at the same time and we buy the $995 put to hedge it costs us $1.20. So we bring in $1.50, that hits our account, and then it costs us $1.20 for our hedge. So let's see what that math works out. That gives us a 30 cent credit, and that's a 30 cent credit per share. The way that you figure out your rate of return is you divide 30 cents divided by the most that you could possibly lose, otherwise, you know, your amount at risk, otherwise known as your investment, and that's $4.70. You divide 30 cents by 470, you get a 6% return for about, oh my gosh, what, from the beginning of the month here to the 19th, less than three weeks of time, maybe two and a half weeks of time, we're gonna get 6%. Get out your little calculator and figure out if you could keep doing that over and over and over what it would turn out to. Now. Take a look at this here and, and say, what is our risk here? And just real quickly, and like I say, I, if, if you're interested in doing this, I'm going to set you up with everything you need. You're, you're going to know this forwards and backwards. You're going to be really comfortable with it. But let's just take take a look at this 6% and see what we're risking. There's, there's five things and only five things that a stock can do. And if this stock does four out of those five, we're going to win. So we've got a lot of chances to win. If it goes straight up from here, uh, the only way we can lose, by the way, is if this stock suddenly rolls over and it goes through both of our spreads. I don't think that's going to happen. If the stock goes straight up, we win. If the stock goes up a little bit, we win. If the stock goes sideways from here, we win. If the stock goes down a little bit, we win. The only way we can lose is if this stock just decides to absolutely tank. 
And I'm going to show you some ways uh, before we're done here that we can even get rid of that risk. I, I just without I, I've been trading I've been trading for well over 30 years stocks I've been trading options for going on 20 years I have never seen anything this good before in my life I love this I've done every options technique imaginable I love this and the reason I love it so much is because it's so darn forgiving you just you just make money if you go this way you make money if you go that way if the stock goes against you you can adjust it and you can make money that way you can keep from losing yeah it's it's always possible to lose I mean right after you put on this trade you know the whole bottom could drop out and it could go straight down and you know you might have to do something but chances are really good you're gonna win you can see all these arrows here those are all chances for you to win and that's why your odds mathematically on just about every trade we do are over 90% and then we go even further than the mathematical odds and set you up with ways to defend against you know un the unexpected and you actually even have a better chance of winning so this kind of gives you an example here without the arrows but you know basically the idea here is as we look at the chart we look at the fundamentals we look at what everything's happening in the market this thing's going up even if it kind of rolls over even if it kind of comes down a little bit as long as it crosses this finish line right here and it is above what we sold our sold spread we're gonna make money and you can also do the same thing up here you know you can sell a couple options up here and you sell two of them it's two credit spreads together it's called a condor because of these great big wide wings so that's just a really quick overview like I say if you're shaking your head right now and you're going what the heck is this guy talking about I don't, I don't even know what an option is or whatever don't don't worry none of this is too complicated you know you didn't know how to drive a car before you started driving one and now it's you know maybe second nature to you so um, I'll get you lined out with everything you need I just want you to know the concept because the concept is so cool so it's one thing to create these spreads but how do we know that our chances of winning are 90 percent or better well, one of the neat things about options is they're based on a mathematical formula the black shoals pricing model and here's this nice simple math for you to take a look at if you happen to be into numbers um, but like I say you don't need to know that formula to make money off of it so whenever we sell an option we can instantly see what the odds are that will that it will expire worthless and here's how we do that so the thinkorswim platform and that is by far and away if you get nothing else out of this webinar if you want to trade options thinkorswim is the brokerage to go to I absolutely love their platform and I've even got little tutorials to show you how to use it so you know don't don't worry about that it's just like a really fine violin and you can play some beautiful music with this platform so the thinkorswim platform allows you to quickly and easily see what the probability of your sold strike being in the money is so see this little box right here where it says layout this one right here okay there's a little right here down in the corner you can click on that you click on that box it gives you all these different choices of what you want your column headings to be so if you have a thinkorswim account or you're going to open one is you click this little box drops down and you click on implied volatility probability of um, out of the money and the delta so that lines it all up for you so remember we just sold the thousand puts and we bought the 995 puts so what is the probability that these will expire out of the money 92.34 percent and you know what oh my gosh my little arrow went crazy 91.34 three four percent is our probability of winning on this trade and that's just the mathematical odds that doesn't even consider the direction that the stock is going that doesn't even consider that the market's bullish right now or whenever this screenshot was taken it doesn't even consider that we have defensive moves that we can do if this trade starts to go against us doesn't so just the mathematical odds alone based on the black Scholes pricing model we've got a 91.34 percent chance of winning going into the trade now that should make you feel a little bit more comfortable and I'll tell you something else that a lot of people might not acknowledge is trading options this way is far safer than buying stocks far safer than investing in mutual funds far safer than an annuity or a bond um, and and I can prove that to you statistically this is not only a safer way to invest your money but as you'll soon see it's a lot more profitable so these probabilities really do play out over the long run so we might you know we, we could you know you can lose on a trade it's possible to lose I'm not saying you can't but but you're gonna be winning on it about nine out of ten 
So these probabilities really do play out over the long run, which makes for great odds. Plus, there are things we can do to fix trades when they go against it. And this is our little fixing guy with the wrench here. So let's just take a look at one of those. And once again, I'm going to show you lots more of this in detail. I'll give you as much education, as much as good information as you want. But this is just a quick overview. So I know it sounds kind of crazy, but I welcome a trade that needs to be adjusted because it says two things. Number one is we're selling close enough to the underline. That's you know the current price of the stock. That's the underline is the stock to have to adjust once in a while. By the way, selling close means we're bringing in more money. So the closer we sell, the more money we bring in. And so it's a little game where you want to sell far enough away to be safe, but you want to sell close enough to bring in some really good money, some really good credit. And if we never have to adjust, that means we're not selling close enough. So number two is, we have the means to adjust our way out of almost any situation. And that means you feel powerful and confident in what you're doing. And I think it's so wonderful that with a few mouse clicks, we can fix a position. I think it's just fantastic. And so being, you know, going in there and adjusting a trade once in a while is actually a little bit of a badge of honor. I mean, I think it's cool. And I think it's cool we have the ability to do that. So I got to tell you that the truth is, is that most of our trades just expire worthless and they're real calm. You don't have to do anything to them. And that's fine. But I love, you know, it's like the fireman that sits around the station all the time and never gets a fire. You know, that fireman's, you know, he once in a while is going to go, man, I wish that bell would ring. I wish I could slide down this big pole, jump into my suit, get on the fire truck, turn on the siren. I mean, it'd be nice to have a little action once in a while. So I just want to be clear, we don't seek it out and you don't need to. The market is full of surprises. But when a surprise comes along, I just want you to know we've got the tools to take care of it. Let me give you a really good example here. Okay, so in this first chart here, the stock is hovering around 169. You can see the stocks right here right around 169 and so we sell the 174 175 call spread that's this call spread up here and we sell the 163 162 spread way down here and with the expectation that they're going to expire worthless we think the stock's going to just wander around in here and you know this thing's going to just expire worthless we're going to keep all the money that's our intention we got a couple of real nice wide wings but guess what Jumping over to this chart here, sometimes the market is full of surprises. Now, <laughs> for those of you that have traded, for those of you that have been out there and actually doing this, is the market sometimes full of surprises? Yeah, it's crazy. So look what happened here. So this is just theoretical, but let's just say we put this spread on, and right after we sold our spread, it just gapped down, dropped, kept right on going. Boy, it just looks really dire here, right? It looks like this spread here is going to become overrun. We don't want that. We would lose money if that happened. So what we do is we close this, and we close this. The top one's going to cost you just about nothing to close. The bottom one's going to cost us some money. So to recover that money, we sell another spread up here. And this actually happens to be the exact same expiration, but you can also roll it out to a further expiration. And there's all kinds of things that you can do. So we sell a new spread up here. We move this spread down here. And we brought in, you know, more money here. We brought in more money here. That offsets whatever it cost us to close. And we're back to looking good. We've That's called an adjustment. This is called rolling down. And it's a beautiful thing to do. And, you know, if you come on board and you get excited about this and want to start doing this, I'll show you a bunch of other adjustments that we can do to improve a position. Sometimes we're not even doing it to, uh, to you know, defend against something. We're just doing it to bring in more money. It gives us more opportunities. So as you can see, just at a real quick glance here, there's a lot of cool stuff you can do here. It gives you a lot of chances. Now, I want you to contrast that with buying a stock. You know, you buy a stock for $15 a share and the stock goes down to $12 a share. What, <laughs> what are your options? I mean, the stock went down. Uh, you know, you just sit around hoping and praying that it's going to go back up again or you sell it and take a loss. Well, with this method, there's virtually always something we can do. And, and truly, in this case, options are, are very aptly named because they give us a lot of chances, a lot of options to do things. So being able to adjust our positions and having the probabilities on our side is critical for the success of our plan, along with good chart reading and looking forward at the fundamentals driving the market. And that's what I do all day, every day. As I look at the market, I look what's coming up, I look at earnings season, I look at what's going on in the news, I look what it, what is affecting the economy, the markets, interest rates, everything. 
and really try and determine where this market's going so we can sell our spread safely. But we want more than theory. We want a proven plan, a proven path to follow, especially if you're thinking about doing this with your retirement money. So has anybody actually done this with good success? Well, yes, of course, we have. You know, I, I started heavily doing this program in 2010. We've had great success with it. But, you know, that's what you'd expect me to say, right? So has anyone else? Is there anyone else that you can go out there and verify that's had great success with this plan that you can check out on your own? In other words, is this method duplicatable? If somebody else has done it, could you do it? So, yes, there's a woman named Karen that started trading 100000 of her own money. It was her life savings using this exact strategy. And she even used the Thinkorswim platform to do it. So this is the exact same platform I'm recommending. And this is a picture of her, Karen. And she was just an accountant. She was like an account for a major uh, corporation. And I get the biggest kick out of her because, you know, at the time when she first got involved in options, she was thinking about opening a bagel shop. You know, everybody has this dream of going out on their own, you know, especially if you're in the corporate world or world and had to take orders from somebody else your whole life. You think, you know, man, you know what? I think I could do it better. Well, a girlfriend of hers said, you know what? There's this options course coming up. I think Thinkorswim was teaching the options course. Let's take this course. You know, let's let's learn a little bit about options. She is a little skeptical, but she's a really good numbers person. She's got a really good good head for numbers. She's calm. Uh, you know, she's she's disciplined, and so she said, "Well, you know what? I'll take a look at this." So she did, and she started trading this strategy. So she was so successful. Wealthy individuals and institutions starting giving her money to manage. So she eventually was managing over $95 million. And over the course of three years, she made $41 million using this strategy, and she's still trading today. Uh, this is one of the greatest success stories on the planet. Quite frankly, it blew away the people that own and manage Thinkorswim. They could not believe it. I'm going to introduce you to one of those guys right now. So this individual right here you see on the left is Tom Sosnoff. He's one of the founders of Thinkorswim, sold it a few years ago to, to um, TD Ameritrade. Now he's got his own uh, show on the Internet. It's called Tasty Trade. You can look it up, and I encourage you to do that. And so there's a YouTube video where Karen is interviewed by Tom Sosnoff because he was blown away um, by what she was doing in her account. He's one of the founders of Thinkorswim. So to find that video, just Google Karen Super Trader Tasty Trade. So there's two videos. One came out in the spring of 2012, and then they did a follow-up, and that's shorter, and they did a follow-up video in the fall of 2012. So the first video is 24 minutes, and it talks about her making $41 million, and the second is 51 minutes, take you a little bit longer to, to watch, and she talks about making 105 million over a longer period of time. And they're, they're both pretty inspirational, especially when you consider that we don't need anywhere near that amount of money to have a comfortable retirement. Um, you know, when you see what you can make with this, um, you, you know, it, it, you, you just need a, a few hundred thousand is all. And, and you're going to be you're going to be rolling in the clover. And if you don't have a few hundred thousand right now, don't worry. I'm going to I'm going to show you how to put that money together. So. I really encourage you to watch these videos. They're up there on YouTube right now. Have nothing to do with me, have nothing to do with us or whatever we're doing. Completely independent. Although I do love Tom Sosnoff. He's he's been a guy I've known for many, many years and I really, really like him. I think he's uh, very bright, really personable, a really cool guy. So I think you'll like these videos. So here's and she shared a lot of good information. So here's three of the most important of Karen's rules. So she tries to just like us, and this is kind of where we got this, she tries to have a ninety to ninety-five percent probability of winning going into a trade. If you do that on both sides of a condor, the combination brings in about ten percent or more uh depending on the implied volatility at the time of the trade. If you don't know that term, whatever, don't worry about it. Just know that you know, you can bring in some good money. You can bring in 10%, 15%, 20% or more doing this. So she only uses 50% to 70% of her account at any one time. She wants to keep cash set aside and available for buybacks. And you'll learn what those are. So, But this is just some methods I want, of hers that I want to share with you. So if she is getting around 10% per trade, 
but is only using half of her account, she's getting about 5% on the entire account, and that's per month. Now, when the probability gets to 30%, so as the, as the stock or the underlying index moves closer to your sold strikes, the probability of being in the money goes up. So she starts at, you know, uh, of, of the probability of being in the money at only 10%. So if it gets to, towards your sold strikes and it gets to about 30%, she adjusts the trade, usually by buying back and selling something new to offset the cost of the buyback, just like I showed you a few minutes ago. And she also switched to strangles. And what a strangle is, is instead of buying her hedge, she just sells naked now. And we don't do that. I don't consider it appropriate for most people's account. She probably has some kind of special dispensation. The margin's a lot higher, so she has the money to set aside for the margin. But it's the same basic strategy. We're selling to really wide wings. We're bringing in these credits and with the expectation that they're going to expire worthless. This is the exact same strategy Karen used to bring in $41 million. Karen also talks about selling about 56 days of time for optimal returns and so that's a, that's almost two months but that was before they made the changes in 2012 they made some changes in the spring of 2012 to weekly options we can now sell less time and still get the kind of returns Karen has been getting or in some cases even better so I just want you to know that over the years when I first started trading options it was really tough I mean options were really inefficient the bid ask spreads were really wide commissions were really high uh, it was not good. Since that time, things have just gotten better and better and better. One of the great introductions and in options in the last few years has been weekly options. So what that does is we make more money sooner. So instead of instead of selling 56 days like Karen does, here's what we do. Okay, here's an options time decay curve. And one of the most important things that you want to get out of this graph here is that options do not decay in a straight line. So you see when they this is 90 days, this is 120 days. So when an option has four months left, say this is this is its time decay, and you know time decay it's just so that you know at zero days uh, uh, there's no time left on an option. It's it's worthless. There's no time left. So that's kind of what we're heading to. So from four months to three months, you can see that the t the, the the time decay is kind of gradual. It's about like that. From three months to two months, from 90 days to 60 days, it starts to steepen up a little bit. Okay, right in here is about where Karen likes to sell. And the reason she does is because from three months, or excuse me, from two months out to one month out, from 60 days to 30 days, ooh, it starts to get real steep, right? And then, then it really gets steep here. So from 30 days with just one month left, the time decay curve gets super steep right here. So here's what we do. With the advent of weekly options, we're selling, oh, here, we're selling here, sometimes we'll sell here. We want to sell on that steepest part of the time decay curve. So, and all we're selling with our options is time. And once again, if you don't understand how options are priced, that's okay. Don't worry about it. I just want to get you some great, great, you know, big overviews right now. So all we're selling is time. So because we're out of the money. So the whole idea is to sell something of great value and have it very quickly decay into something that's worthless. Once it becomes worthless at expiration here at zero days, all of our risk is gone, all of our obligation is gone. We keep all the money that we took in for selling those options and we go on to the next trade. Now, wouldn't you rather have your money in two and a half, three weeks than, than two months? If we can increase that cycle, that amount of time that we're bringing in, you know, it takes to bring in our profits, and if we can do that in some ways actually even more safely than what Karen is doing, isn't that an improvement? Isn't that the direction that we want to go? Absolutely. And ever since this advent of these weekly options, and they've gotten really good, uh, and some of these changes they made, you know, weekly options have been around for, oh, I don't know, since 2007 or so, but they made some changes in 2012. I'm going to teach you all about the, that in, in this weekly options course that I want to make available to you, but I just want you to know things have gotten really, really good for us. There's never been a better time to do this strategy. So we're taking what Karen has done, um, 
as the inspiration for a new program designed to get anyone who follows it retired within five years. No matter where you're at now, if you've got a little bit of savings, if you've got a little bit of money set aside, I am going to help you take that money and build it into something that's truly inspiring. If you're one of these people that's getting close to retirement and you've been cutting back your expectations because that's what everybody tells you to do and you made a trip to a financial planner and you came away from that trip completely depressed, I think you are going to absolutely love what is happening with this program that we put together. So you've got a little bit of a basis for it right now. So these trades will be more conservative than our usual spread trades. Now these are the retirement trades that I'm talking about. They'll be even more conservative because we're willing to accept lower returns for a higher probability of winning. So our typical spreads yield anywhere from 15 to 30% per month. But what if we went for much more safety and targeted just, and I say just in quotes, 10 to 20% per month. Even with trading just half the account and keeping the other half in cash for buybacks and factoring in the occasional loss, we'd still be getting at least 5% per month. So let's just cut this way back. What we're doing right now is in my normal aggressive trades, I'm getting maybe 25% per month is what we're bringing in. In a retirement trade, we're really actually bringing in more like 15% to 20% per month in our typical retirement trades. But you know what? I want to bring our expectations down to the most conservative place we can. So even factoring in the occasional loss, even having to buy back and roll things out, even having, you know, even just trading half of the account, let's say we're just getting 5% per month. We get our expectations down to that level. Let's see what that gets us. Getting 5% per month is still very impressive, especially when that money is compounded. If you know anything about compounding, it gets really exciting, you know, really quick as, as you start making money on your money. If we're going to really build up that account, we want to have as much of our money working for us as possible. In other words, we want to compound our returns and we want to do it tax-free in a tax-free environment to get all of our money working for us all the time. Plus, wouldn't it be nice to be able to take that money out tax-free when it's time to live off of it in retirement? Well, of course it would. You know, so many people make decisions on where they want to live and where they want to retire based on the tax consequences of wherever that residence happens to be. Wouldn't it be nice if you didn't have to pay any federal taxes and on your, on your income and most of, of the states determine what you pay in state taxes based on your federal liability? So then you wouldn't have to pay any state taxes. You could live wherever you wanted. You know, maybe you're currently in a high tax jurisdiction. You'd like to stay there, but you don't think you can. Wouldn't it be nice to have an income coming in that was 100% tax free? Well, of course it would. That's what we're all after. So how in the heck do we, you know, how do we do that? How do we go about that? Of course it would be fantastic. We're going to put our money in a special account that can build to infinity without having to pay any tax on the profits ever. And I'll tell you, I've made some good money in my lifetime. I've paid some outrageous taxes. A tax is the very word gives me a rash. I mean, I go into a twitchy fit every time I hear about tax. And all they want to do is raise taxes. That's the only direction they seem to be able to go in. And so taxes, I mean, are a real pet peeve of mine. If you've made some good money in your lifetime, you know what I'm talking about. I mean, getting an income that is tax-free to me is way beyond the mathematical uh, wonder of that. It's, it's just such a, a psychic, spiritual, emotional victory that goes along with that as well. So what can we do? How can we create that? That special account is called a Roth IRA. Now, you may have heard of a Roth already. You might even already have a Roth. But what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to go over the incredible benefits of a Roth. And you can open a Roth at Thinkorswim. You can, and I'm going to show you how you can do this strategy in a Roth IRA. So here's the characteristics of a Roth. Contributions are not tax deductible. So this is money that you've already paid taxes on. This is savings. This is money you've set aside. Um, so you can't deduct it that year. But that's okay. Small price to pay. So you can contribute up to $5,500 $5, per year under the age of 50 and $6,500 over the age of 50. And that's, you know, that's fair. If you're under the age of 50, you've got a lot more years to compound it. Uh, and if, it's, uh, if you're over the age of 50, you can put in $6,500 per year. And that's as of, I think, they made that change in 2013. 
So direct contributions to a Roth IRA may be withdrawn tax-free at any time. So that's kind of cool. There's no penalty. The actual money that you put in there, you can take back out if there's an emergency or something. That's pretty cool. So earnings may be withdrawn. So any buildup may be withdrawn tax-free and penalty-free after the age of 59 and a half. Well, guess what? As I get older and the conveyor belt moves along here, I've got a lot different idea on what is older and what is younger now. And 59 and a half does not seem very old to me at all. And with the advances in healthcare, with the exercise people are getting, with these newer, better lifestyles that a lot of people are doing, 59 and a half is young. You can start taking distributions tax-free and penalty-free at 59 and a half and onward. But here's what's cool. Distributions from a Roth IRA do not increase your adjusted gross income. So these earnings do not increase your tax bracket on your other income. Uh, that's fantastic. That's huge. The Roth IRA does not require distributions based on age, so you can just keep building that up forever. All other tax-deferred retirement plans require withdrawals by 70 and a half. Well, if you're planning on living to be 100, maybe you don't want to start taking out the money at 70 and a half. You know, maybe you want to keep building it up. But it gives you the option to be able to do that. Unlike distributions from a regular IRA, qualified Roth distributions do not affect the calculation of taxable Social Security benefits. That means you can still get Social Security just like you were before, and you could bring in, be bringing in, you know, let's just pick a number, $13,000 a month tax-free, and it doesn't affect your ability to collect Social Security. This is huge, you guys. This is so cool. This is amazing. Assets in a Roth IRA can be passed on to hair, heirs, your kids. That's fantastic. Single filers. Um, so there is some restrictions. You can make up to 110000 a year to qualify for a full contribution. Um, you can make 110000 to 125000 to be eligible for a partial contribution. And joint filers, you know, you and your spouse, you can make up to $170,000 per year to qualify for a full contribution and 173,000 to 183,000 to be eligible for a partial contribution. So, you know, that's those are still some pretty decent substantial amounts of money. So, I'm just crazy about these Roth IRAs. I, you know, it's one of those rare times where the government was actually kind of watching out for us a little bit. I just am so thankful that they put this program together and I totally encourage you to take advantage of it, especially if you have a really cool vehicle where you can really build up your money. Build it up in a Roth. Build it, build up your profits, and build up that account in a Roth. Now let's see, let's just see what's possible. This just gets more and more exciting. The amazing thing about a Roth is that you can build up any amount of wealth in the account you want, and as long as the distributions are taken after the age of 59 and a half, the money you take out is completely tax-free. And we see a picture of our buddy George Washington here with a big smile. This is, this, is, this is one of the coolest things that's come along in years. So if we're averaging, now keep in mind, this is at the low end of our expectations. If we're averaging just a 5% monthly return and we're only using the money we can put into a Roth, what kind of account can we build up in five years? So put in another way, the maximum we can put into a Roth is $6,500. So if we put that amount into the account every year for five years and got 5% per month trading this strategy, how much would we end up with? Do you think that's a relevant question? Or you're curious about that. And, and do five years go by pretty quickly whether we want them to or not? Yeah, I mean, the older you get, it seems like the faster five, you know, the faster time goes by. You know, five years is pretty darn quick. So what if we get 5% per month trading this strategy how much would we end up with? So here's a little graph. Year one, you have to be a little bit patient, uh, and it builds up. If we just put in 6,500 per year, at the end of year one, we have $11,673. Pretty darn inspiring from a rate of return standpoint. And we're bringing in $584 a month. You know, I know people that buy rental properties and put up with a ton of crap from the renters. They're out there fixing toilets. They're evicting people, and they're doing it for about that amount of money. So $584 a month after year one is pretty amazing, especially when you consider, you know, you just started off with $6,500. Year two starts getting interesting. Oh, we put in another $6,500. Every, uh, every one of these years, every one of these dots here, we put in another $6,500. So this isn't a huge amount of money. You know, you don't have to have millions here. This is just $6,500. So at the end of year two, you're up to $32,636. You're bringing in $1,632 per month. Once again, I know people that are living on $1,632 per month in Social Security. That's all they get. And they've somehow got to make ends meet on that amount of money. I know people that are doing that. So 
these are not insignificant amounts of money and this is just something that you can do even if you're physically impaired you can sit at a computer and if your mind is sharp you can make a few mouse clicks and do this so this is inspiring we put in another sixty five hundred dollars oh my gosh it's starting to get exciting now we've got seventy thousand dollars in the account we're bringing in thirty five hundred dollars per month once again I know people with some really good jobs out there with a lot of responsibility that are making about thirty five hundred dollars per month that's not an amount of money to scoff at and there's a lot of places in the world you can go and live very comfortably on thirty five hundred dollars a month and this is just after three years year four oh my goodness Notice how this curve starts steepening here. It's getting steeper. That is the incredible power of compounding returns. That's what compounding returns do for you. Year four, we're at 137, 891. It's almost 138,000. We're bringing in about $6,900 per month. Holy mackerel! You can, you know, you can actually go out to dinner once in a while and and, and golf once in a while and leave a you know decent life on that amount of money if you keep your trips to Starbucks to a minimum I mean that's that's a decent income right there for just about anybody but look what happens at year five two hundred and fifty nine thousand dollars in the account and you're bringing in twelve thousand nine hundred and sixty five dollars per month and you're doing it tax free you know I, I there if you are I mean I cannot imagine somebody getting not getting excited about this plan especially with all the gloom and doom out there and all the financial advisors telling you that you need millions of dollars to retire with any kind of dignity this is cool and you know what else it's gonna do it's gonna keep you sharp you're gonna learn something new you're gonna learn some new terms it's really fun it's like playing a game how many people put so much effort into learning how to play bridge how many people put so much effort into learning how to perfect their golf swing? How many people put so much effort into, uh, you know, learning how to do so many things that we learn how to do, how to play chess? You know, those are mental exercises. And this is actually easier than that. I'm just telling you, for learning something new and doing something that you haven't done before, there is a huge reward waiting for you at the end of the rainbow. I want, I don't want, I'm doing this myself and it's fantastic, but I don't want to do it alone. I want I want company I want people to come along with me I want you to come along with me and I want to personally meet you someday and I want to talk about this and I want to see where you're at and it is so fun it is so inspiring think about what you can do with this money for yourself for your kids for your grandkids this is some serious money so here's the deal here's what's amazing about this this is super cool it's really impressive but since you never have to take the money out it's possible to keep on building it so what do years 5 through 10 look like? Now, I just want you to know that I really debated on whether or not to put this in the presentation because I'll tell you what, right here, this at year 5, $250,000 of $59,000 a month, right at $13,000 a month in income, $12,965 a month. That right there blows most people's minds. That right there is where I'm going to lose a lot of people. You're going to say, you know what, that's impossible. That's incredible. Why isn't everybody doing this? Why hasn't anybody told me about this before? Why isn't Warren Buffett doing it? You know, everybody has these same questions, and I'll just tell you right. I'll answer that. It's it's off the beaten track. It's out of the ordinary. Your stockbroker, your financial advisor, has absolutely zero vested interest in telling you how to do this. In fact, it goes against their interests. Because you could pull some money out of whatever they're managing and put it into this. There's nobody out there. There's very, very few that are interested in telling you about this for a lot of good reasons. It's a little bit different. Um, you know, some people think it's complicated. I don't. I don't think you are once you understand it. So a lot of people aren't doing it. Uh, and that's great. I want us to be the ones that are doing it. So I was thinking about just stopping right here. But there's a few of you out there like me that are curious and you're going, well, gosh, you know, this graph looks pretty good. That's pretty exciting. It's really going up. You know, would you mind showing me what year six looks like? Hey, and you know, if it's not too much trouble, could you can you show me what year seven looks like? How, how about year eight? You know, I got eight years. I'm planning on living at least another eight years. Could you show me what eight, eight year eight looks like? So, you know, if you're already blown away, if you're already incredible, just take a break, get up, go to the bathroom, whatever. But the next graph I'm going to show shows years 5 through 10. So just hold on to your seat, you know, just, just strap yourself in. Let's take a look at what those years look like if you just decide you want to keep building this thing up. Oh, my gosh.
<laughs> year six, we jumped to $868,000, $43,000 a month. Year seven, oh my gosh, we're at one and a half million. We're at 78,000 a month. You can see the amounts here for yourself, but uh, year eight is 100, almost 142,000 a month, not a year, that's a month. We're up to a quarter of a million dollars a year. We're up to 458,000, almost $459,000 a month. Okay, so let's just stop here for a second, right? And you're, you're going to say, you know what, Peter, this is BS. We've gotten in the realm of, you know, just craziness, la-la land here. I, I just don't even believe these numbers. They just blow my mind. So, so that's pretty outrageous, and I agree. But before you say it's impossible, remember, Karen is doing it, and she's doing it on an even larger scale. She's doing it with millions of dollars. The instruments that we're trading here, these indices, the SPX, and all this kind of stuff, they can handle as much business as we can throw at them. They're not thinly traded. You can do this with millions of dollars. And you know what? The numbers come out. The numbers come out. So, you know, there's a few among you. You know, there's, a, there's a, there, most of us, and, you know, I might be in this category, most of us will get to the point that we're comfortable. Whether you're bringing in 10000 20000 a month, 30000 a month, whatever whatever your comfort level is, you'll get to that point and you'll just, you'll, you know, either, either unconsciously or consciously, you'll just slow down. You'll say, you know, that's enough money for me and, and that's all I'm going to take. But there's a very few folks, and you might be one of them, that just want to test the waters and they want to see what's possible. And I want to meet you. I want to run into you in three, four, five, six, seven years. And I want to say, what have you done with this? And there's going to be just a few people out there that say, you know what? I love climbing the mountains in my backyard, but I'm climbing Mount Everest. I'm going all the way to the top. And boy, I take my hat off to you. There's going to be people that do that. And I just want you to know that it's possible. It is possible. Whatever level of income you're interested in, it's possible. But for now, let's just go back to our original five-year plan. The very next month after your five years is up, you have $272,271. And at just 5%, that amount brings in $13,614 per month tax-free. And that's where we got that number. That's where we got our $13,000 per month. It's possible. It's doable. Now, I realize we don't live in the calculator world. We live in the real world. And in the real world, we won't get exactly 5% every month. Sometimes there's going to be setbacks. It's how the real world works. You know, there's a few bumps along the way to the bank. But sometimes and most of the time, and what we've actually been doing is we're doing better. We're doing better than our 5%. You know, a couple of months ago, we got 13%. We got 13% two, year, two, two months in a row. And then, and then uh, just recently, we got 14% in a month. But, you know, I, I acknowledge, you know, something crazy could happen. We could lose on a trade, you know, a couple of trades. I don't know what's going to happen out there. I want to keep our expectations low. If we just keep our expectations low at 5%, my goodness, this is what the graph turns out to be. You've got no reason to be upset about your financial future. You've got... You've got an incredibly bright financial future just by virtue of seeing this presentation. Now, if you actually take some action and do something, things are going to start getting really exciting. The point is, the plan looks like it will work, and it is working, and it's working right now. Now, I opened a Roth IRA at Thinkorswim, and if you let them know you have some options experience, they will let you sell credit spreads in the account. This is very important how you open an account. They want to know if you've had options trading experience and if you've got the assets to withstand a loss. So I recommend on, on filling out these brokerage firms, this is the only reason they're doing this is to cover their rear ends for liability. So I recommend that you put your best foot forward, but only to the extent that you honestly can. So if you've read some books on options, you've had a little bit of experience with options, if you, if you actually go through some of my educational material on options, you will have experience with options. And you can honestly say that you do and that you know what you're doing. You let them know that, and they are going to let you sell credit spreads in your brokerage account. Now, one more huge bonus here. If you decide to come along and do this with me, I'll even set you up with an account at Thinkorswim with the inside track to discounted commissions. And that gives you a huge advantage. I've negotiated with something just for our people, just for people that are doing this program, that I think you're really going to like. And I'm not going to release that information until you decide to come on board. But if you do, I'm going to do some things to really make it worth your while. So we're doing two trades per week. 
The first is our usual more aggressive higher return credit spread because those are really fun. I don't want to give up on those. But our second trade is a Roth retirement trade. And it will be a little lower return but safer. And we'll be shooting for a 10% or better return with a 90% probability of winning. So 10% on half the account equals a 5% return overall. And like I say, we, we might do a little bit better than that, but that, that's what we're shooting for. That's our target. The two trades can be traded in two separate accounts if you want. And as you've seen, the buildup over time can be amazing. So say you have a, a, a regular account and you have 50,000 in there or whatever. You can do our more aggressive trades. You can make some fantastic income on that. And you can have a separate account that you just put 6,500 in to start and you put in 60, another 6,500 next year and you build that up and you can do our retirement trades in there. So <laughs> I just want to say that this is a train you don't want to miss. Once in a while you stumble across something that is really valid, really works, and can really change your life in a really, really good way. So, you know, I know we're all skeptical. Sometimes that's a really healthy thing to do. I would ask you to, you know, fine, remain skeptical, but don't let it stop you from doing this. I want you to investigate it. I want you to get involved, and I'm going to make it very, very easy for you to do that. And you be the judge. You tell me if this is working for you. It's super important to me that you are successful with this. So I want to make sure you've got everything you need to succeed, every key to success. And I want you to have that right up front. First, I want you to have a really good understanding of how this strategy works. So you get another complete webinar that shows step by step how credit spreads work and why they work so well. And I'm just going to I'm going to send you a link for that. You can watch it on your own on your own time. You can go back, you can fast forward it. You're going to have the controls down at the bottom of the video. You can go back and forth and you can see what a credit spread really is. So if you're a little confused in the beginning and what the heck is he talking about and how are we selling one option and buying another option? I'm going to show you a video. I mean, I've made something that really explains it in easy to understand terms. You're going to love this. This is You're going to be more excited after watching that webinar than you are right now. Plus, with the actual service, your subscription, you get two new high probability trades every week. And we talked about them. And I'll show you exactly where to sell your spreads and exactly how to sell them for the possibility of maximum gains with minimum risk. Here's a little sample of the newsletter. I actually show you a chart of the S&P 500, show you what the market's doing, talk about it, talk about what we're going to do, what spreads we're going to do, exactly where we're going to sell them, how we're going to enter those orders. You know, you just I just take you by the hand. I show you everything. That comes out Tuesday evening. So you have an opportunity to place your trades the next day on Wednesday. Plus, as an extra bonus, you'll get a 10-module video course specifically on trading the weeklies. The weeklies is probably the hottest area of options trading right now. It's what everybody wants to know about. It's how you can really bring in more money sooner. I've got a whole 10-module video presentation on that. I'm going to include that for free just for coming on board. Plus, I'll send you a special link, and we already talked about the open an account at Thinkorswim. Once that account is open, I'll put you in touch with our special contact at TD Ameritrade to get you special commission rates set up just for this program. So this is really, really super exciting. And I don't know what the discount will be. It'll be depending on how much money you have in your account and how many contracts a month you're going to be doing. But it, it is special commissions. They've already got the best trading platform on the planet, in my opinion. I've trade them, tried them all. And the, the most important thing about Thinkorswim is they're really, really good at getting you filled inside the spread. And that can just save you a fortune. And their commissions are already good, but I want you to have even better commissions. So I want you to come on board so we can trade this plan together. And, it, you know, you can invest what you can and prove to yourself how well this works and then watch your account build. This is the most exciting thing you've probably done with your money in maybe, maybe forever, maybe ever. This is so cool. You don't have to risk a lot. You can put in 6500 into a Roth account. Uh, you know, I can, I can show you how to set up an account at Thinkorswim. Really, really cool. Really, really fun. Follow along with what I teach, exactly what I tell you to do, and watch your account build. And once you see that account build over the year, you, you can't hardly wait for the next year. You know, every expiration Friday becomes a, a payday, almost every Friday, and it starts getting really, really exciting. Now, I've got, a, I've got um, some, some, you know, kind of a special offer for you. You get all this included. You can't get this on a regular website. You can get a three-month subscription just to kind of try it out. You're going to need at least three months to have the time to go over all the materials and, and, and play some trades, see some of your, your trades come through and, and start making some money and have some paydays and get really excited about this. 
Super excited about having you on board. I actually want to meet you personally someday. Really excited about doing this myself. I'm turning all my friends onto this. I'm turning my relatives onto this. This is the coolest thing we've ever done with trading and building up a truly wonderful, livable, comfortable, tax-free income. So looking forward to having you on board. We'll see you at the website, and we'll see you inside the website soon. Take care. It's been great to have you, and we'll see you there.